Now, although I could address numerous subjects discussed in our book, including DNA sequencing, genetic engineering, and gene therapy, time limitations constrain me to only highlighting one more topic. The topic that I've chosen to teach you about is the polymerase chain reaction, also known as PCR. PCR is a technique invented by Kerry B. Mullis in 1983, which allows scientists to make billions of copies of DNA in a relatively short time. So why in the crap would you want billions of copies of DNA? Well, there are numerous applications of this. But one of the most obvious is criminal investigation. Let's say that you're a detective at a crime scene where you find a small tissue sample that might belong to the perpetrator. You probably want to make multiple copies of the DNA in this sample for analysis so that you don't run out of DNA halfway through the investigation, right? How do you do that? The answer is PCR. So here's how PCR works. We take a sample of DNA, which might be large or small, and we heat it to 95 degrees Celsius, which causes the two strands in the DNA to separate. We then cool these two strands to 54 degrees Celsius and stir them with short complementary pieces of DNA called primers, which are shown here as little cute red and yellow boxes. Now these primers base pair or anneal to the opposing ends of the two DNA strands. We now warm these strands in the presence of a heat stable DNA synthesizing enzyme and stir the mixture in a solution that's filled with an excess of free floating deoxyadenosine, guanosine, cytidine, and thymidine. The enzyme, called a thermophilic DNA polymerase, then uses this supply of nucleotides to read down the original DNA strands and synthesize two complementary strands. We now heat the mixture up again and break apart and separate all four of these strands from each other. The process is now repeated, ultimately giving eight complementary strands, which are then subjected again to the same cycle. Now each cycle amplifies the number of DNA strand copies exponentially. Thus it takes about an hour to complete 30 cycles at which point the DNA has been copied a billion fold. Now we have more than enough DNA hopefully for extensive analysis of our crime scene tissue sample. Now one humorous thing about TV shows is the fact that they often portray scientific techniques quite inaccurately and sometimes very ignorantly. Though I don't have time or the legal permission needed to share the following clip with you here, I did find a funny TV clip on YouTube that makes PCR look humorously much faster than it really is. Now, If you're bored enough to actually watch it, then you can find it here, the following HTML. Now that concludes our Chapter 28 presentation on nucleic acid chemistry. I hope it's been as fun for you as it has for me, and for my colon. So until next time, I wish you a good and happy DNA.